having a light on a defensive pistol is vital, which makes choosing the best pistol light important for the safety of you and your loved ones. However, there are a ton of different weapon lights on the market, making trying to choose one very overwhelming. In this guide, we'll go over our top pistol light recommendations to help you narrow down the choices. Then talk about what you need to know to choose the right pistol light to meet your needs. Before getting into the detailed list, we need to look at a few features that a pistol light should have, brightness, range, battery life, size, compatibility with your pistol, durability, and price. But before that, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and seeing me for the first time. Also, turn on that notification bell to keep up with my upcoming videos. I'm Flash Review, let's jump straight into the video. Number 1. Streamlight TLR7 My top pick is the Streamlight TLR7. I like this light because it's a versatile option that can work for a variety of purposes. It has a 500 lumen beam, so it's bright enough to blind an assailant or use outside. At the same time, it's not too bright to use indoors either. The TLR7 has a narrow beam, which I typically prefer for outdoor use because narrow beams generally have a longer range. For indoor use, I like a wide beam because it fills a room and you don't need as much range. However, in my experience with the TLR7, it's bright enough to still illuminate a room. The 140 meter range gives you plenty of distance for outdoor use. Like most pistol lights, the TLR7 uses a CR123A battery, which provides a hefty 90 minutes of battery life. To prevent you from accidentally turning on the light, the TLR7 has a safe off function. To activate this function, simply turn the head of the light a half turn, which causes the battery to disconnect from the contact. That way the light can't be accidentally turned on, even if the controls are pressed. And speaking of controls, the Streamlight TLR7 has low profile, ambidextrous side switches. What does that mean? Well, first that the controls sit close to the side of the body of the light so they won't catch on things like your holster or clothing. Second, it means that the controls are accessible with either hand. The side is compact, with a weight of just 2.4 ounces, but it's also durable. It's impact resistant, waterproof, and is protected by a lifetime warranty. Number 2. Streamlight TLR8 The Streamlight TLR8 is basically the same as the TLR7 but also has a laser sight. So with this added advantage, why didn't I choose the TLR8 as my overall top pick? Well, first, because a 500 lumen beam washes out a laser, you can't really use the light and laser at the same time. Second, because the addition of the laser means the cost goes up by about 50%. If you really want to have the option to use either the light or laser, the extra money may very well be worth it. If all you really want is a light, which is also what I'm focusing on in this guide, then I just don't think the addition of the laser, just in case you happen to want it later on, justifies that much extra cost. Other than the laser, the Streamlight TLR8 is virtually identical to the TLR7. It has the same 500 lumen beam and 140 meter range. Both lights use a CR123A battery and have a 1.5 hour battery life, though the TLR8's battery will last for 18 hours if you just use the laser. They also both have the same safe off function and both have low profile, ambidextrous controls. Like the TLR7, the TLR8 is impact resistant and protected by a lifetime warranty. It's only water resistant, though, not waterproof. That means it can be splashed with water, but can't be submerged. That's good enough for taking out in the rain, but be careful around puddles and bodies of water. The addition of the laser does mean that the TLR8 is a touch heavier, weighing 2.64 ounces instead of 2.4. The TLR8 also has windage and elevation screws so you can zero your sight. Comment, like and subscribe. We hope you have been enjoying the video so far. Do let us know what you think in the comment section. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more informative military content. Number 3. Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. The PL Mini Valkyrie 2 is a cute little fella. In many ways, it reminds me of myself, a bit chunky and awkwardly shaped, but it still has its charms. This tactical light has a neat design and is practically made for subcompact firearms like the Hellcat, Tourist Jack, 
and the Smith & Wesson Mant line. The PL Mini Valkyrie 2 also comes with a convenient rail adapter for mounting the light to your gun. You can adjust the position of the light by sliding the rail mount back and forth. Once you find that perfect position, secure it by locking the swing arm in place. This rechargeable light pushes out 600 lumens of power with a 100 meter beam throw. The PL Mini Valkyrie 2 also releases a surprising 2500 candela, which isn't bad for such a small light. From what I can tell, Olight doesn't sell a battery powered version of this model. But I guess that makes sense. This light is so small, I'm not sure where you could even fit a battery, and certainly not a powerful one. Most of the stats listed above are facts and claims marketed by Olight. That's all fine and dandy, but our mission today is to see how Olight's tactical lights stack up in a field rife with fantastic weapon lights. Olight makes some pretty bold declarations, like asserting that both lights are IPX6 waterproof. We're glad they let us know because now we get to drop and drown them. Number 4. Viridian C5L our low-powered pistol light is the Viridian C5L. Like the Streamlight TLR8 the Viridian C5L is both a laser sight and a pistol light. Unlike the two Streamlights, however, it's available in two different laser sight colors, red and green. First, let's talk about what both models have in common, then we'll talk about why the difference in color matters. Both models have a 100 lumen constant beam that allows you to run the light and laser sight at the same time without washing out the laser sight. They also both have a 140 lumen strobe beam which can theoretically be used to disorient an attacker. According to Viridian, they both incorporate radiance technology to help widen the beam, though Viridian doesn't seem to explain exactly what that means. They also both feature instant on capability, which Viridian explains much more effectively. When you pair these lights with Viridian Tac Lock holsters, the light will turn on automatically when you draw your pistol from the holster. So what's the difference between the two models, aside from just the color you see when you flip on the laser sight? Well, green lasers are actually brighter than red ones. That means that the green laser model has a much longer range. On the other hand, the red laser model doesn't require as much power, so it has a much longer battery. Let's talk about what that looks like in real life. The CGL Green has a daytime range of 100 yards and a nighttime range of 2 miles, but a 1 hour battery life when you use the laser and light at the same time and a 4 hour battery life with the light constantly on and no laser. The CGL Red has a daytime range of only 25 yards and a nighttime range of a single mile. On the other hand, it has a 1.25 hour battery life when you use both the laser and light and a very impressive 20 hour battery life with the light on. Number 5. Surefire X300 Ultra. The Surefire X300 is another fan favorite option that I personally love an awful lot. I've carried this one a good bit, and I have to say that while I find the 1000 lumen beam a bit overkill, this is a rock solid light. Yes, 1000 lumens is probably more than you need but if you want something that has a super powerful light, this is a great choice. It's equally at home on a rifle or shotgun too, so you can always swap it over if the urge strikes you, making it a great all-in-one solution. The light itself uses a precision tier lens that helps give the beam a large center spot, while still providing a good throw out to the sides as well. The beam has an effective range of around of about 230 yards with this lens. The controls are ambidextrous and offer both a momentary on option as well as a toggle on slash off option. Battery life is pretty good with 1.25 hours on high, and the light is powered by two CR123A batteries that, thankfully, are included for once. The light weighs in at just 4 ounces with those batteries installed. The light body is made of aircraft grade aluminum and is hard anodized to meet military wear specifications to help it resist scratches and corrosion. It's all IPX7 waterproof and available in a variety of color combinations. Thanks for watching the video this far. With it we have to the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also also share this video with your friends. Bye.